G'day and welcome to Ear Deals, Australia's number one free to use hearing aid brokering service, where we connect you with the latest hearing aid information on the market, free of charge and with the best deals that we can find. Our mission's simple. We provide you as the potential hearing aid wearer with transparent, unbiased information about the latest technology. And we can do this because we are 100% independent of hearing aid manufacturers. If you're someone who likes our videos, please press the like button on the bottom right hand of this page. If you want to subscribe, you can press the red button that says subscribe and we will notify you of any of the latest hearing aids that hit the market if you're not quite ready to pick up the phone and talk to one of our brokers. And finally, if you know someone with hearing loss that's struggling, that would informatively enjoy this information, please press the share button on the bottom right hand of this page also, and you'll be able to connect them directly. Thank you for your support, Australia, as we try to deliver you the best information about the latest hearing aid technology to hit our market. Today, we are reviewing the features of the latest release from GN ReSound, which is the ReSound 1 hearing device range. It replaces the Lynx range from GN ReSound, which we've been working with with our clients for the last few years. Now, the ReSound 1 range comes with some industry first, so it's gonna be a little bit of a long video, this one, but there is some great detail in here that we hope will help you in your decision-making process when it comes to deciding on the right hearing aid for your lifestyle budget or hearing loss. In the new ReSound 1 range, you have three devices that you can choose from. You have the 312 replaceable battery option, the size 13 replaceable battery option, which is a bit bigger battery, a better battery life. It also comes with a telecore, which we'll go into in greater detail later. And finally, the highly anticipated lithium ion rechargeable battery option. Now, the lithium ion rechargeable battery option across the industry and all of the different brands is the industry standard. We've got great battery life in lithium ion batteries, with good stability, they're light, they're small, which is great for hearing aids, and they're also very quick to charge, which means that if you do run out of power, 10 minutes will get you out of trouble when it comes to charging them up. If you have any more questions about the ReSound 1 range following this video, please give us a call. Our brokers are ready to have a chat and discuss all the different types of features and the sorts of bits and pieces that you're interested in when it comes to making the decision for your hearing loss. Thanks very much and I look forward to discussing these options with you further. The ReSound 1 hearing device range has three technology levels for you to choose from. And these three technology levels are available across the full three ranges of devices. That's the 312, the 13T, and the rechargeable. The premium level is called ReSound 1.9. The advanced level is called ReSound 1.7. And what ReSound calls the essential level is the ReSound 1.5. It's a little bit confusing. So nine at the top, seven is standard, five is essential to make things a little bit simpler for you to understand. Technology levels are used across the entire hearing industry as a way of basically creating a product line and a price variation across a range. Think of technology levels like software packages whereby the higher you go in technology, the more software is available to assist you to automatically and most importantly hear in noisy environments and filtering those voices in those environments. Additional to filtering is the common for manufacturers like ReSound to focus on other areas, like particularly focusing in and the directionality of those microphones. So things like focusing in on speech, particularly in noise. This in turn has created a natural listening experience for the wearer, which seamlessly adjusts automatically in situations or when you're in motion. The ReSound 1 hearing aids work together to adapt to any environment and comfortably monitor the sounds around you, constantly improving the audibility of what's being heard. With the introduction of the new M and RIE receiver, previously discussed, this approach 
the sound filtering has become further improved for both ears and it's becoming more and more natural. For more detail on technology levels of the ReSound One range, you'll find more information on our website about each of the devices and break them down into each of their levels and what programs are available at each level. It's important to note here, as you go higher, you do go higher in price. Your audiologist will assist you in choosing the right level of technology. However, um, in most instances, we find 90 to 95% of the people that come through ear deals are looking at anywhere from the standard level up. If you have the previous model of ReSound devices, you'll be happy to note that your old accessories are also compatible with the latest ReSound One range. ReSound continues to be one of the more premium offerings when it comes to existive accessories based on the lower price compared to other accessories in other brands and the scope of environments and situations the accessories can be used for. The most notable is the connectivity to cochlear implants. For those who have an implant on one side, you can still utilize the capabilities of the ReSound device on the other side of your head. You also have a full range of connectivity points which include TV with wireless watching, listening to your favorite music or podcasts, YouTube channels and videos like this one, and yes, talking to loved ones on the phone directly. Access to the ReSound app for adjustments is also an option. And it's important to note here that ReSound often has been the leader in app development. And in my humble opinion, it is the leader at the moment. I have a long history of app development. I love apps. I follow apps in the hearing industry very, very closely. And I'm biased here because the app is easy to use. It's intuitive. It's well designed. The buttons are a good size, so they're easy to see and easy to press. So from a manufacturer's perspective, well done, ReSound. You continue to have a great outcome here. If you're upgrading from the previous model of ReSound hearing aids to the new ReSound One, here's a hot tip. Delete the old app and download the new one. It can fix a lot of the connectivity issues between the two phones and what the app's actually doing. It's not really a big issue, but just delete it. It'll make your life easier. ReSound also offers contactless updates to your hearing aids from your provider, or you can go through the app and have an appointment directly with your clinician at your ear deals clinic and be able to have a conversation, have adjustments and all of that sort of thing, which is really important this day and age where we are social distancing um, and we are being a little bit more cautious than usual about who we're interacting with. Finally, the most important feature is how ReSound has looked to the future. And that is that the latest Bluetooth protocol to come out in 2021 will be compatible with the ReSound One devices. This is particularly important when it comes to connectivity to future devices that you might be linking your hearing aids to. If you're looking for greater help and improvement in being able to hear voices in noisy environments or for particular situations where you need to really hear specifically in an environment such as watching TV, then an accessory might be right for you. ReSound has a range of accessories worth considering. The multi-mic, for instance, will provide you with additional hearing boost in noisy environments, giving better speech focus. The ReSound Foam Clip Plus will also help in background noise, and you can use this to mute background noise, stream music and podcasts, and any other audio directly from your phone into your hearing devices. You also have the really popular TV connector devices, and these plug into the back of your TV almost permanently if you wanna leave them there, and they send audio directly to your hearing aids without wires so that you can use it with your computer, for instance, or even your music sound system if you feel like having a dance at home. These have been the most popular devices across any brand. People tend to watch a lot of TV, and they really help in those instances. Finally, the ReSound remote control is a great device for those who have dexterity issues or for those who don't like using phone apps or having to worry about downloading them, for instance. The ReSound remote control has a small screen to assist you with seeing your changes um, on the device itself, and it's been very popular for those wanting less fuss and less technology to worry about.
One of the most exciting features of the software platform in the ReSound One range is the launch of a new software program called Ultra Focus. Now this program is highly directional and it basically pinpoints the voice you want to hear in a noisy environment by using how you move your head and where you focus your attention. This update on the previous model is said to improve the capability of hearing voices by up to 30%, which is a vast improvement on the previous model. The size 13T uh, replaceable battery option on the ReSound One range is the largest replaceable battery that's available within the range. And this just means big power for those with big hearing losses and longer battery life. Uh, however, it does come down to how much you're using the device for things like streaming of phone calls or music podcasts or YouTube videos like this one. Typically speaking, a size 13 battery will be anywhere from five plus days worth of charge. When it comes to the size of the device, it is larger and that's because of that size 13 battery, but also because of the T in the name, the size 13T. T stands for telecall. And telecall is a small physical wire inside the hearing aid which picks up on radio signals of public service announcement systems. That means that if you go to say a picture theatre for instance with telecall um, connectivity, you can stream the film directly into your hearing aids automatically as soon as you access that environment. Telecall systems are becoming more and more prevalent in today's society, particularly in Australia. And you're, you're going to find that sort of capability in places like universities, museums, as we've discussed, picture theatres, and even transport systems. It's been a technology, the telecall component, that's been around for well over five years. It's tried and tested. Hearing aid manufacturers continue to bring out telecall connectivity in their hearing aids, even at this late stage of 2020, meaning it's still a type of technology that's very much sought after and still very relevant in today's society with helping those with hearing loss to hear. We'll start with the superficial stuff and that is that the new product is a little bit sharper looking, it's got harder edges to it, less rounded than the previous model. The design itself has got new receivers as well, which we'll go into later detail. Smaller changes that are less noticeable is the placement of the microphones on the device and of course the colour tones. Now the colour tones are not as bold because ReSound's really looking for discreteness here in the new range. So it's tending to supply these devices in more hair and skin tones, which seems to be the same sort of line of tact as a lot of the other major manufacturers. The new GN ReSound One range comes with two additional receivers and these receivers have been improved based on the ergonomic shape of the ear to give you a better fit. Uh, they've also got improvements in the retention and that's how the receiver actually fits inside the ear canal and holds itself there. Great for people who have got very active lifestyles. So the big news here is the new M and RIE receiver which stands for microphone and receiver in the ear. Now, before we go into this world first, we really need to investigate why GN ReSound would investigate putting a receiver and a microphone together. And I'm going to explain traditional devices versus this new one. When it, all, it all basically comes down to ergonomics, like a podiatrist will fit an insole to your shoe based on how you walk um, and the shape of your foot, or dentists are using clear plastic molded guards to straighten a smile. Um, at the top of your ear is called the pinna, and this is the ear's way of collecting sound and assisting you to hear better in things like background noise, lifting volume, and providing you with a situational awareness or localization of sound. These benefits the audio in the audiology world is called the pinna effect. Well, traditional receiver in the canal devices have had to ignore this design option of having the microphone next to the receiver because it was considered impossible until this point because of a thing called feedback, which is when the microphone and the receiver are right next to each other. In standard receiver in the canal devices, which is every other device on the market that's an RIE, the receiver in the ear canal 
and the microphone are really separated to the point where the microphone is actually behind the ear in the body of the hearing aid. The top of the ear then became a natural barrier to the recycling sound or feedback. This design feature in the past has assisted with the fitting of receiver and canal devices and made them the most popular in the market. However, what ReSound's trying to do here with its recent upgrades and improved computer chip is basically using this computer chip to help with the filtering process and dealing with the feedback to give you more of a natural sound and way that you can hear. And it's removed the feedback sound even when the microphone and the receiver are so close together. So the result, well ergonomics of your body being the natural shape of your ear is now assisting your hearing device to process sound more naturally, perform better, just the way that nature intended you to hear. The only consideration here is how the device is fitted and this comes down to your audiologist as that comes down to the level of hearing loss someone has because the larger the loss, the greater the volume of sound that's required to be amplified and as such you run into a feedback situation where it's more likely to occur when those receivers and the microphone is together. The fitting type of the microphone at a hearing loss that's really large is probably not going to be as beneficial to someone with a large hearing loss, but your audiologist will deal with this. And if it's not appropriate, they'll choose a particular type of receiver that will be appropriate. It all, it's all just another reason why you should not buy hearing aids online, because as you can tell, it's highly complicated and very personalized to the skill set of that audiologist and how they fit that device. It's very hard for someone who has no idea about this type of thing to be able to choose a, the right device, the right receiver, purchasing online, and therein lies the problem. If the new M and RIE receiver gets to a point where the, your expectation and your overall success of the device is just not quite right, then you can, as previously discussed, have the option to change the receiver and the dome options with your audiologist to get a better outcome especially if you want it a bit louder. Another notable difference is due to the new M and RIE receiver being placed in the ear, the effects of wind noise has been reduced. And this is because the microphone is no longer on the back of the ear, it's actually inside the ear canal. And ReSound is reporting that there's up to a 19 decibel wind reduction in some instances, which is really, really, really impressive. 19 decibels is a lot. So it's becoming one of those situations where wind is no longer difficult to navigate for those who are wearing hearing devices. This technical feature in the hearing aids processing capabilities has effectively removed the sound of wind. This is usually in high levels of devices at a higher cost where the hearing aid manufacturers will use the technology and the processing chip to be able to achieve this, in which case you're obviously spending a little bit more money with uh, programs that are assisting in reducing wind. Well, because the receiver in the canal device has the microphone in the ear canal, it removes this altogether, which is quite an incredible thing, especially if you're somebody who goes outside a lot or does a lot of recreational activities. As well as adding new receivers to the ReSound One hearing aid device range, we also are now seeing an upgrade to the dome options with the new closed dome options added to the Tulip, Power and Open dome options. This has been well received in our clinics as many audiologists have used an industry trick of actually fitting closed style domes from other manufacturers until this point to get a better hearing aid fitting. So thanks ReSound for figuring this one out. The benefit here is for the hearing aid wearer is the ability for the audiologist to lift the amplification without experiencing feedback with the new styles. Feedback is the name given to the whistling sound created by the hearing aid when it recycles its own sound between its microphones and the receiver. In this section, considerations is around whether or not you're gonna choose the ReSound device over something else, and if there's any sticky points here that you need to consider that we determine as being quite significant. There's two major considerations when it comes to the ReSound One range, and the first of those is if you're after the Marie receiver, that latest receiver that's gonna give you really natural sound because of where it's positioned in the ear canal and the fact that it's one of the most revolutionary things that we've seen in hearing aid technology in the last two or three years, 
is that the Marie receiver is only available in the top two technology levels, that's the nine and the seven. So if you are an essential level wearer and you don't have the money to afford those higher levels, you are missing out and we find that a little bit disheartening. However, the caveat here is that most eDeals clients generally go from a mid-level to a high level anyway because of our prices. When you're looking at say a mid-level with eDeals, you find that the same money that you're spending on a mid-level will only get you an essential if you go to a different brand or a different provider. So always call our brokers and ask the question, I guess is the point here, that you might find yourself being able to access that level of technology for the money that you've only got to spend. The second consideration here uh, comes down for Android users. And the caveat around this is that whilst the ReSound One devices link to both Android and Apple, the Android offering is a little bit weaker. They cannot say that they can cover all Android devices. So you can connect to Google and Samsung devices but we're finding it tends to be those latest devices that are out there, mobile phones and tablets, that sort of thing. If you're not sure whether or not you're gonna get that level of connectivity directly from your Android device to your hearing aids, the best option here is to call 1300 010064 or the standard number on our website and ask one of our friendly brokers whether or not your device will actually connect directly to your new hearing aids. A great question that will save a lot of frustration in the future and it's definitely worth asking, especially because it's one of the key features of the hearing aid and you'll really be cutting all your nose off to spot your face if you don't ask the question. There are alternatives, however, Bluetooth technology gives another level of communication that we wouldn't usually get from older hearing devices and that's the ability to be able to communicate over the phone effectively. Thank you very much for watching our informational video about the latest release from ReSound, the ReSound One device range released in December of 2020. And it still remains at this point in time, January 30, as the latest device on the market. Eardills is fiercely independent. We're not owned by a hearing aid manufacturer. Our advice is unbiased. We choose hearing aids and we decide on hearing aids that we're going to stock based off the quality of the device, its build, the support that is provided by the manufacturer and the features and the benefits for you as the hearing aid wearer. If you're still unsure about whether or not this device is right for you or you'd like to compare the ReSound One devices to say another brand, pick up the phone and call one of our brokers on 1300 010 064 and they'll be able to discuss with you the positives and negatives of each of those products and which one will probably match your budget, lifestyle and hearing loss better. One final note, every ear deals clinic conducts real ear measurement. And this is, should be an industry standard, but it's not. It's a great place to start for the audiologist to ensure that your hearing aids are fitted correctly and are performing at their best possible levels. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. If you would like to subscribe, you'll see more videos like this one or you can simply share it with somebody that you might feel would really benefit from this type of information. Thank you. Thank you.